Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, The Ultimate Pre-Qualification to Pre-List Process with MAPS coaches Alexis Weigand and Emily Baker. Please note this meeting is being recorded and will be available within 24 hours on the MAPS Group YouTube channel. You may access the YouTube channel from your soup confirmation email, and we will also share the link in the chat momentarily. Currently, everyone's on mute. We do value group participation, so we ask that if you have any questions for your coach, please type them into the chat box below. Your questions will be addressed by your coaches throughout the webinar. Following the meeting, if you have any questions about today's call or our coaching programs, please email us at fasttrack at kw.com. That's it for me, coaches. Take it away. Thanks, Rodrigo. Hey, guys. Alexis Swigand with the Alexis Swigand Real Estate Group here in San Antonio, Texas. And I'm here with my amazing partner, Emily Baker. If you guys don't already know us, a little bit of background. I run a team here in San Antonio. I am still the lead listing specialist. And Emily exclusively coaches some of the top teams in our company in Gary's Top 100. So together, um, we also co-host the Mega Listing Agent, which is a group's, uh, MAPS group coaching course, as well as Role Play Rumble. Um, so we're really excited today because we're bringing the ultimate pre-qualification to pre-list process. And Emily, you are going to kick us off with my absolute favorite script of the entire industry. So why don't you go ahead and share which one that is? Yeah. Hey, everyone. Welcome. So the first part of prequal to prelist is the prequalification. So a lot of times we, we are asking ourselves, what's the best information to get before we go on an appointment? Like, what do we really need to know about this potential buyer or seller? So LTP Mama, maybe you've heard of it. Um, we need to know the location, timeline, price, motivation, agency, mortgage, and appointment details. So that's what that stands for. So um, don't worry, I'm going to go back over it. So what is important about the location? Well, what I want you all to write down is location equals lifestyle. Okay. And what I mean by that is how many times have we heard, man, if I could just pick my house up and move it with me, I would, right? Or, oh, I, we love this house, but we don't love the neighborhood, right? Um, people typically buy in a specific area based on their lifestyle, right? So if someone wants land, they want land for the purpose of whatever they're going to do on that land, right? Um, if somebody wants to live in a specific community, they want to be in that community for a specific lifestyle purpose or reason, right? Um, school district, zip code, right? Trendy up and coming neighborhoods. Um, it's the same thing. So when we think about location, the location is going to reveal what lifestyle and the lifestyle can help you in terms of who is my audience, right? Who is the person that I'm speaking with um, in regards to personality? T is for timeline. The timeline reveals the true objection. So a lot of times when we go after timeline, we're asking questions like, well, ideally, when would you like to make a move? Or ideally, when would you like to go on the market? Or, well, when, when are you thinking about making a move, right? And I like to call those passive questions, meaning that we're not really getting clear on when that is, because how many times when we ask a question like that, does the respondent say something like, well, we're just looking or, well, you know, I'm not really sure, or maybe in the spring, but we're just kind of starting, right? So we're allowing them to give us passive responses. The goal is for the timeline to reveal the objection such that you say, so, hey, I know that you're looking at, you know, Rockview Heights, right? Um, if the right property were to hit the market and it was within the price point that you all were looking at and had everything you were looking for, what would stop you guys from moving forward on, a, on the property with an offer? Or, hey, just out of curiosity, if you guys were to accept an offer in the next 30 days for top dollar, what would prevent you from moving? And what that does is it allows you to understand what their true intent is on the timeline, whether that's, oh gosh, you know, we're just starting. We don't even know what we can afford right now. Or man, this is my first house. I don't even really know what those steps would be. Or maybe it's, you know, oh gosh, I've lived in my house for over 30 years. I mean, there's no way that I could get out in the next 30 days, right? So we're getting really, really clear. And then we follow up with a question of, so by when will you absolutely make a move? 
And the by when creates the deadline. Okay. So when is passive by when is purposeful by when would you, uh, you know, would you uh, make a move or would you need to make a move? Um, P is price. Price range gives us the idea in which the person, uh, their financial clarity on their situation, right? So just out of curiosity, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, what do you, what do you think is if you had to choose, you know, a number, what would you say is top dollar for your property in today's market based on what you've seen? Um, you know, so, so you can get the information to know, is this person in, in a realistic realm or is this person, are we going to have to really defend on the market and the trends, right? Same thing for a buyer, um, in regards to that, right? Uh, what, what, what's the most that you would be willing to pay for the uh, right property in X location? So we're really getting clear on that. Motivation. Motivation, as some of you may have heard, it is the why, not the what, so what is, uh, what is their true motivation? What do they intend to do? What's the win for them in regards to making this move? So what's important to them about downsizing, right? What's important to them about relocating? What is this move truly going to do for them? It's so important that we get to the core of their motivation such that we know, can you help this person or not? If you're not sure on what their motivation is, it may be really hard and challenging for us to build rapport and to really truly come from contribution in relation to the goals in which they're looking to accomplish. Agency. Who else are they interviewing for the job? to sell their home, to purchase a home? Have they already been looking at homes? Have they already signed with someone, right? We wanna be really, really clear. How many of us have went out to show a house on a whim, right? Cause we got a call and then recognized that they were signed with an agent and their agent was just out of town and told them to call the listing agent, right? But you're the buyer's agent that shows up, right? So important that we get clear on if they're working with someone or what that opportunity looks like, or you go out on a listing appointment and you're all prepared, ready to go. You're excited. You're like, yes, I'm going to crush it. And they have seven interviews set up, right? So it's really, really important for us to know what we're walking into in regards to agency. Mortgage. Um, what is their payoff? What is their financing situation? Are they government backed? Are they cash? Are they conventional? Because that's, that's going to help us in our consultation set parameters and expectations around what it's going to take for them to win an offer in today's market, right? Because it's different based on their financing. Um, the seller knowing their, their payoff right? That's going to impact what they're going to walk away with for financial clarity of, and, and giving them, you know, their, their true equity number, right? Of what they've earned. And then last is appointment details. And this is a big one. Um, this is for all decision makers. So who are the decision makers? What are the, what are the, uh, what are the contact information for all decision makers and in regards to emails, phone numbers. Um, what does that look like, right? Such that we have clear communication with all decision makers. So no one is playing telephone, which again, if you've been in this industry for a while, we've all had these lessons come up in prequel, right? Where we've all played telephone. The husband books an appointment, the wife has a friend in real estate and is talking to them and you don't even know. And then they call you back and they're like, oh, I guess my wife, you know, already has a friend, blah, 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 blah right? So making sure we're all on the same page as decision makers um, to set us up for success. Once you've gathered this information in the preliminary phone call that you have with this client, we then set expectations, right? So you may have heard Alexis and I say expectations eliminate objections, okay? So how you would set expectations, we like to set expectations in the three goals, and what that looks like for an appointment is when you wrap up, you say, awesome. So Alexis, we're so excited to connect with you Thursday at one o'clock. On Thursday, we've really got three goals. 
Okay. The first goal is for us to truly dive into what's important to you and understand your goals and motivation through the process of selling your home. Obviously, if it's not a win-win, it's not going to work, right? The second goal is for us to get financially clear on what top dollar is in today's specific market for your property. What's the strategic marketing uh the strategic marketing plan that's going to cause you to net top dollar and our unique value proposition that's going to support that through such that then we can decide if we're going to choose to work together and moving forward with the sale of your home or what the best timing is for us to move forward in the future. Sound good? And now we've just frameworked what that appointment is. How many times have we set an appointment or someone maybe has set an appointment for us, for those of you who may have ISAs, and you show up and they have no idea why you're there, right? Or do you have a buyer, right? So again, the first goal is to identify their true goals and motivations such that we ensure that this is a win-win. The next is to get financially clear with them on what top dollar is and how that translates to their net and the marketing strategy and our unique value proposition that partners and supports that goal. Last is to decide if we're going to choose to work together on Thursday or when we're going to choose to partner in the sale of their home in the future. Trial close. After that, after they say, yep, that sounds good. Then I like to say, awesome. So the only thing that we ask Alexis that you have is a copy of your front door house key such that when we decide we, our marketing team will take that. So our marketing team is ready to go for photos and videography and all of that. Okay. So we're, we're moving them forward, already thinking that they're, that the next step, right. That they're going to work with us. And then that's just the clear expectations, right? When we get when we when we get to the appointment, we are now set up for success because we are clear on who the client is, what their goals are, what they believe is top dollar, where they want to go, when they want to get there, what their fi- what their uh, payoff is, and we've set the framework up for this client. Which brings us to the pre-list process, which, so this is the pre-qual. So then Alexis, tell us what we do with the pre-list process. Yep. And I thought that was really well done. So when we'll start where Emily left off and she said, set the next step expectations. We literally tell them, hey, we communicate at a really high level. We know that's always really important. So you're going to hear from us four times before we actually meet in person. So let's assume that we've set the appointment for Thursday at 3 p.m. We say, we're gonna send you, we're gonna send you a group text so that you have our our cell phones. We're gonna send you a calendar invite. We're also gonna send you an email with some information in it. And then we're gonna send you a group text the morning of, right? All of this is at the end of the prequel that Emily just went over. So we're literally saying, We're going to communicate with you four different times before we get there. So if we look at what those four things are, number one, it's the group text. So write that down. As soon as you set the appointment, right? I'm so excited to meet with you. Thank you for the opportunity. I will see you at 3 p.m. on Thursday. We go to our cell phones and we start a group text. If you have an assistant and they go with you or... Um, if that's just you, whatever that looks like, your group talks is to both decision makers. So that's usually husband and wife. It's a template, right? And it's, and then we say names, but like to hear their names. We all were in taxes. We like to say Mr. and Mrs. or what, right? Um, but we always address them. And then we say, we're so excited for the opportunity to meet with you. And then we also say, we're going to spend around three hours going through and um, creating a market analysis so that we can understand what top dollar is for your house in today's market. If you get a chance, we would love to see if you could send two photos, right? And we asked for the kitchen and the backyard because how many times would that have been so helpful for you guys to get a sneak peek at the finish out of the kitchen or what the backyard looks like? 
right? Maybe the pool's not listed online or maybe you forgot to ask and they put a new pool in. So having these photos is gonna help you be more accurate in your, um, when you go and you do your market analysis. So number one, it's the, um, the gratitude tax. Number two, we send a calendar invite. So in this calendar invite, again, it goes to both decision makers that are present. And the three goals that Emily went over, we actually type those into the notes. So we use Google calendars and we say three goals for our appointment. One, two, three. Because sometimes our prequel on the phone, oftentimes it's just with one party, right? Maybe the wife wasn't on the phone. Maybe the husband called in. So I'm going to give you a shortened version of what Emily said, but it's number one, we're going to review, we're going to review your timeline, your motivation, and your goals, right? Number two, we're going to identify top dollar, go over our unique marketing um, strategy, and then our, our marketing strategy and our unique value proposition. And number three, we're going to go ahead and decide today whether we choose to work together, right? That's the condensed version. Number three, we send an email. And guys, this is, this can be as simple or as creative as you wish. If you don't have anything in place, I'm going to encourage you to just, you could just send like three sentences as an email and that would be better than nothing. Um, so for us, we have a quick link to a video and it says, um, basically, well, here's two really important things. We ask them if they can have a copy of their survey and then also a copy of their appraisal. And we tell them, hey, if you can have these things available, it's going to help us save you both time and money. If you can't, that's okay. And yet we want to make this a really high level consultation. So again, you can ask for if they have previous inspections, you can ask if they've done any improvements, you can ask for their payoff, right? You can make this as detailed or as simple as you like. My two favorite things to ask for though are the survey and an appraisal if they've done a refinance because we can use that square footage that is cited on there, which is sometimes larger than the appraisal district. All right, so that can also include your bio. Right, um, you can have an about me section, or um, we always say that when we get with a client, we never want to talk about ourselves, right? So your brag video or your about you can also be in your intro email. And then um, last, we always do a group text, and remember, you've already started the group text. So we will do a group text no later than 8.30 a.m., the day of the appointment. This is not asking them to confirm, right? Your doctor doesn't say, hey, does this still work for you? You may get a text message or a call and it's and ours just says, hey, this is a friendly reminder of your appointment with the Alexis Wigan Real Estate Group at 3 p.m. this afternoon. And they usually write back, so excited, yay. I encourage you. This is a time to... Um, build rapport before you even step into the door, right? So in the very first group talks, I'm going to dial back to that. When they send you photos, compliment to connect. Okay. If they send you a photo of their backyard or their, or whatever they send you, it's always, oh my gosh, we're so excited. What a gorgeous house. We can't wait to market it. Um, it's always enthusiasm. People want to work with people that are enthusiastic to market their house. So as a wrap up, you do the group text, you send the calendar invite, you send the pre-list email, and then the morning of you send another group text as a friendly reminder. When you do these four things, your conversion from appointment set to appointment gone on is going to go through the roof. We'll help over 200 people this year. I can't remember the last time that we didn't have a seller show up for one of our appointments. And most of the time, they've got the survey and the appraisal right there on the table waiting for us. Emily, what would you add to that? Nothing. I think that's huge. It's just, again, what this is doing is you guys are just wowing the seller before you ever get in front of them. We are in the market of fierce competition, right? You guys know it. We, when you're prospecting for listings, when you're going on listing appointments, most people are interviewing at least 
three or more people in this market. Um, or you hear people that go, oh, well, you agents just, you know, I had a call today um, where listing agents were like, well, they were like, you know, oh, you agents just don't really have to do anything to get things sold, right? Like the market's good enough. Um, way to wow someone prior to walking through that door and showing them that you do work hard and that you do actually do things a lot differently um, and you show up at the highest level, right? Yep. And I would just add to that because you can go, you can see some of these really large teams that have full-blown marketing departments and they've got really cool flyers put together, um, really well done professional videos. You don't need that. People like to be like for you to show up as relatable. So we actually reshot our, uh, our video that we put in our pre-list email Guys, all I did was do it on my iPhone. It's really nothing fancy. And I just said, hey, I'm so excited for the opportunity. You know, by now you have an appointment to meet with our team. We're so grateful for the opportunity. There's two things if you could have available would help us save you time and money, right? Survey appraisal. If you want to add those other things, you can. Again, we look forward to the opportunity of partnering with you in the sale of your house. We look forward to seeing you soon. That is our video. I think it's less than 30 seconds. So you don't want you guys to overthink this. You could shoot that today and you could put it in your group text or you could put it in your email. I think the thing that's going to set you apart from your competition is the number of touches, right? It's just like in lead generation. It's not the quality of having this really well done, perfect email with all this marketing. It's Hey, immediately after they got off the phone, they got a text. Then they immediately saw it on their calendar from the calendar invite. Then they got the email. And then they got another group text reminding them and they're going to go, oh my gosh, this person's so on top of it. Zoom is a perfect example of that, Alexis. If you guys look at corporations, think about when you register for a Zoom, right? All of you got a reminder for this Zoom, right? You got an email, you got an option to add it to your calendar, and then it got, it sent out an hour reminder saying, you know, in an hour, this is going to start, right? If you just look at your business, like a corporation, think about Amazon, right? Amazon sends you immediately your confirmation, your orders on its way, right? You get updates. It's no different. And, you know, one of our favorite quotes Alexis and I have is the conversations, the relationship, right? So the more that you can be in conversation with someone, the more that you can communicate with someone, the stronger relationship that we're going to have, right? And how nice would it be to walk in the door and feel somebody feel already connected to you because they've read your bio because they've, you know, you've gone extensively in depth with them on their goals and motivation and where they're going. You took the time to listen because you were, you know, communicative and you set the invites and all of that. And that's just the preface. And, you know, we love to say, you know, look at, look at the communication and everything we've done and you've yet to even hire us. Yep. I love it. Any quite, if y'all have any questions, put it in the chat channel. However, um, Emily and I are super excited. Emily, you want to go over the course that we're launching coming up soon? Yeah. So guys, this is just a, a small piece of our nine week a uh, mega listing agent course. So Alexis and I have uh, had a couple launches this year. We've completely consolidated, rewrote, we've added the scripts. You'll get to see Alexis's video, um, all the scripts that we've talked about today, plus a ton more um, on how to become a um, mega listing agent. So we go hyper-focused and, you know, the feedback that we've got from our last two launches, guys, that we're really cognizant of in this next one is we start from ground up. So we start with um, identifying your target market to lit the top listing lead generation strategies to follow up to 
uh, prequal pre-list to the listing consultation prep, the listing consultation in person, the marketing strategies, and how to create a client for life. So it's very um, sequential and order based on, you know, no matter where you're starting, um, it, there's a lot for refinement or defining um, in systems and scripts. And we go on proven models of what we know works. So we're launching Wednesday, January 5th. It is from 1.30 to 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time for nine weeks. The, it's $500, two installments of $250, so you don't have to pay that all at once. Um, you can register at the megalistingagent.com or go to mapscoaching.com to register. All sessions are recorded, and you get the recording uh, the recordings for 60 days after our last session. So you guys will have about four months of this content to really digest practice. We give you workbooks with, like I said, all the scripts, all the checklists, all the examples of marketing and, um, lead generation strategies. Um, so, and if you are a mastery coaching client or a Keller Williams young professional, you get a discount. So, um, when you sign up through mapscoaching.com. All right. Well, we look forward to having you in our future course and thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Bye everyone.